Kennt ihr diesen Typ, der, ähm, wie heißt er? Bei Instagram heißt er, ich glaube, Card Tricks by Jason. Der Typ ist komplett insane, was Kartentricks angeht. Das muss ich euch kurz zeigen. Der ist wirklich krass. Card Magic by Jason heißt er. Check it out, guys. Zum Beispiel nehmen wir mal. Also, er hat hier sehr viele Tricks. Und er macht auch gegen Bezahlung, nimmt er hier Tricks. Das ist zum Beispiel ein, von ein sehr krasser Trick. Und zwar geht es da um den Film James Bond jagt Dr. No. Da gibt es ja eine ganz berühmte Poker-Szene, wo alle krasse Karten haben. Und am Ende gewinnt James Bond mit einem, ich glaube, Straight Flash. Straight Flash. Und ähm, die anderen haben alle Full House. Und er mischt die Karten und teilt sie so aus wie in dem Film. Check it out. Uh, Casino-style shuffle, of course, is always two shuffles flat on the table like this. Uh, after the cards are shuffled uh, twice, you always have to strip the cards. It's very important and you can see clearly. I mean, watch it in slow motion if you need to. The cards are being stripped. Of course, after the uh, strip, You have to shuffle one more time, followed by a one-handed cut. Now, make sure that I don't cheat on the deal. I'll deal slow so you can see all the cards come off the top. Only four-handed. And remember, I said James Bond sitting at the fourth position. On the flop, let's see what we have. I'm pretty sure it's going to be just like the movie Ace of Hearts, Eight of Spades, Six of Spades. Let's burn a card. Four of Spades on the turn. Burn, and on the river, the Ace of Spades. Now, that's only half the challenge. I have to get the hands right. Uh, at the very first position, I do believe there was a flush. King, Queen of Spades gives us a flush. On the second position, we have a pair of eights, which gives us eights full of aces. On the third position, we have a higher full house, aces full of sixes, and of course, James Bond's hand, a straight flush. Four through eight of spades, a very strong hand. Uh, if you haven't seen the movie, it's one of my absolute favorite movies, James Bond's Casino Royale. Check it out. Four-handed, let's say James Bond sitting at the... Ich weiß nicht, ob ihr wisst, wie krass das ist, was der da gemacht hat. Okay, wir gucken uns so einen anderen Trick an. Was macht er hier mit Fällen? Die Audacity, die einige Leute haben, um auf meine Page zu kommen und zu sagen, dass ich das nicht blindfolded kann. Schau das. Hey Siri, pick a number between 1 and 13. Die Antwort ist 9. 9, remember that. 9. All right? I'm going to try something blindfolded. I'll put this down. I found this blindfolded in my bedroom right next to the But anyway, we're going to try a sealed deck of cards. Uh, I want to make sure this is in frame. Uh, I think we're good to go. I will open this deck up. That's the hardest part. Breaking the cellophane for the very first time. And there should be a seal right here. You can see that's being broken for the very first time. And as a matter of fact, if my memory serves me correctly, there should be a couple jokers here and uh, a couple ad cards over here. It's not my first time opening up a deck of cards. It should also be in new deck order. But what we're going to do, new deck order. I don't want people to think that I was cheating that. I will ruin New Deck Order by giving the cards what's known as a Casino Wash. Uh, that's what they do in the casinos, they give the deck a Casino Wash. But last I checked, I think the deck was face up, so now let's do it face down. Mix the cards up like this. In addition to the Casino Wash, I'm going to give the cards a couple shuffles too, and we're going to try to find those four nines. I've done this before and people always say uh, I've got a monitor I'm looking at or I've got a big mirror that I'm using or something of that nature, but the blindfold should take care of all of that. Uh, we are looking for the four nines, and if I'm not mistaken, there should be one right about there. Let's get the cards another couple shuffles, another couple cuts, and if I'm not mistaken, there should be a nine right about there. I will give the cards another couple shuffles, another couple cuts. And I do believe there should be a nine right about there, the nine of diamonds, I think it was. Feels like a diamond. And then one more to go. If I'm not mistaken. Should be a nine right about there. The fuck? Wie geht das, Leute? Ich check es nicht. The audacity that some people have to come on a mic. Der Typ ist einfach nur krass. Ja, der ist unsympathisch. Der disst auch immer alle. Der, ist halt, der hat halt, das gehört halt zu seinem. Ähm, 
zu seiner Magician Persona oder wie man das nennt, dass der ultra arrogant ist. Er sagt auch einfach die ganze Zeit, wie geil er ist und so, aber <lacht> er ist halt auch ganz gut. Ich verstehe es nicht. Wirklich, ich verstehe es nicht, wie es funktioniert. Und er hat nur solche Sachen. Ich habe mir wirklich unzählige von dem angeguckt. One of my favorite moments on this page is when I'm arguing with some idiot in the comments section that watched a YouTube video and they believe they're an expert in the craft now and they point out, oh, I saw the deck switch or something like that. Oh, I'll make a follow-up video that proves that there's no deck switch. And then, of course, they write back in and say, what, do you think you're better than me? No, uh, this, that's not what this page is about. I don't think I'm better than you. I know I'm better than you. Unless you've got 40 years of experience in this field, nothing you say matters. Deal with it. One of my favorite moments on this okay, page is when I'm arguing... Okay, what the fuck is that? Habt ihr das gerade gesehen? Er mischt die Karten 130.000 Mal und am Ende sind die sortiert. Also das kenne ich noch, da gibt es auch Möglichkeiten zu fake shuffeln, dass das ein Fake, dass es so aussieht, als ob sie gemischt Watch. werden, aber in Wahrheit sind sie nicht gemischt, aber das sieht schon sehr legit mischen. They believe they're an expert in the craft now and they point out, oh, I saw the deck switch or something like that. Well, I'll make a follow-up video that proves that there's no deck switch and then of course they write back in and say, what do you think you're better than me? No, uh, this, this is not what this page is about. I don't think I'm better than you. I know I'm better than you. Unless you... Ass 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, Bube, Dabe, König. Ass 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, Bube, Dabe, König. Wie geht das? You've got 40 years of experience in this field. Nothing you Before we begin, let's give the cards a thorough shuffle from top to bottom, and then I'm going to pretend to turn on a stopwatch. Now, don't worry, we're just going to add that stopwatch in and post. The most difficult part, really, is adding the reflections into the side of the stopwatch. But either way, uh, now that the stopwatch is running, we know that it can't be edited. And uh, what I'm going to do in this video is stack the deck. Now, somebody said in a recent video that all I ever do on this page is stack the kings. Can I stack something else besides kings? So, I just gave the cards a couple shuffles, uh, gave the cards a cut, and I'm going to see if I can stack for, let's say, a six-handed game. And we'll see if we can give deuces, four deuces, to another player. Now, of course, if I was dealing deuces to another player in a game, that means, of course, they're my partner. So, the answer is yes, I can deal four of a kind to a different player that's not kings. Now, I also, I mean, I did give myself kings. I didn't have to, but I mean, it, I guess it was just luck. If you were dealt four twos in a poker game, I mean, honestly, how much would you put in the pot? Before we begin, let's give the cards a thorough shuffle from top to bottom, and then I'm going to pretend to turn on a stopwatch. Now, don't worry, we're just going to add that stopwatch in and post. The most difficult part, really, is adding the reflections into the side of the stopwatch. But either way, uh, now that the stop... Ich check's nicht. Sorry, ich check's nicht. A lot of people have asked, have I ever been on Penn and Teller's Fool Us? Well, this particular trick has been submitted to them. Now, they didn't put it on the show, but I'd like to do it for you now, see if I can fool you with it. We are going to generate a random playing card using these dice and a shuffled deck of cards. First, we're going to see if we can find a suit. Watch this. We roll, find out what we have, an eight in this case. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the suit we're dealing with is hearts. Roll again for the value. In this case, we have never nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the value is king. That means the king of hearts is the random playing card that we generated. Roll one more time for a position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, we know that can't be loaded dice because I got three different numbers each time I did it. Now, the interesting part here is the king of hearts is always going to be at that seventh position. I know it full pen and teller. Did it fool you? A lot of people have asked, have I ever been on Penn and Teller's Fool Us? Well, this particular trick has been submitted to them. Now, they didn't put it. Ich check das nicht. Ich, sag's, ich sag euch, wie es ist. Ich check das nicht. Before we start, we can see all 52 cards on the table and the four aces are scattered out throughout. And uh, a lot of times people think that when I do this, uh, there's cards sticking out the side of the deck. You can look real close and see that there is nothing sticking out of this deck that would indicate the location of the ace. No marks, no corners sticking out, no bent corners, no anything. And I'm going to show you the point of view for myself when I start shuffling these cards. I'm using closed shuffles. A lot of times people think that when I shuffle the cards, I'm peeking at the cards. That's simply not the case. Oh, there's an ace here, by the way. Uh, but you can see that I'm not lifting these cards high enough to see any of the cards, yet I can still tell you where those aces are. Now, a lot of people... Uh, 
uh, have been saying this for a while that I just peek at the cards, but this should be definitive proof. I'll even strip it like this. So you can see that I am not seeing any cards. I'm seeing the same exact view that you are looking at right now. And I think if I'm not mistaken, this should be an ace right about here. Now for this last ace, I have to admit, there's no person on the face of this planet that could bring that ace to the top of the deck with a shuffle and a cut. That's why I brought it to the bottom of the deck. And that's four aces from a shuffle deck of cards. Before we start, we can see all Ich weiß es nicht. Nee, der macht ja auch auf YouTube. Der macht ja auch auf, auf YouTube Sachen. Card Magic by Jason hier. I'd like to do one more trick if that's okay. And I want to use a brand new deck of cards. And we'll consider this the last trick of the evening. So I'd like to thank you all for helping me out. And I don't know when's the last time you opened up a brand new deck of cards, but uh, brand new decks always come with uh, some junk cards and the jokers and such. So um, we'll get rid of those. And I also have to give the cards a couple shuffles because brand new decks always run with the ace, uh, ace through king, ace through king and all the suits are organized. And um, I want to give the cards a couple shuffles to break that up. And John, you know that after you shuffle the cards, what are you supposed to do? You always cut the okay, cards. Okay, warte, 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 warte. You Wenn er die hier zusammenschiebt, ja? Was passiert hier? Oh. Heute ist ja auch wirklich der Wurm drin. Okay, wir fangen nochmal von vorne an. And I want to use a brand new deck of cards. And we'll consider this the last trick of the evening. So I'd like to thank you all for helping me out. And I don't also know if the last time you opened up a brand new deck of cards, but uh, brand new decks always come with uh, some junk cards and the jokers and such. So um, we'll get rid of those. And I also have to give the cards a couple shuffles because brand new decks always run with the ace, uh, ace through king, ace through king, and all the suits are organized. And um, I want to give the cards a couple shuffles to break that up. And John, you know. Hier, das meine ich. Was fällt einem hier auf beim Zusammenschieben? Also was mir auffällt, ist, dass natürlich ein dicker Stapel hier unten überhaupt nicht gemischt wird. But after you shuffle the cards, what are you supposed to do? Cut. You always cut the cards because that keeps things honest. So, John, can you cut about half the cards over just like it's done in a game? Good. And complete the cut? Excellent. And that should be enough to break up that new deck sequence. That's what we call it. Now, John, are you familiar with the ranks of hands at all? Yes. As a matter of fact, they're all written right here. Uh, like two pair, three of a kind, right? I'd like to show you something I do to make sure every time I sit down to play poker, I end up a winner. I certainly don't deal myself four aces every hand. That'll be too sensational. I don't want it to be obvious that I'm cheating. So all I have to do is deal myself hands that are slightly better than my opponents. So to stay sharp, I practice cutting to all of the hands from lowest to highest. And um, John, I might ask you to read some of those hands off for me because they're all listed there from lowest to highest. And they list all the hands, but they also list the odds. But the odds apply to straight poker, it's called. And that means that deuces aren't wild. So I'm not going to waste your time cutting to deuces. So, John, what is the lowest ranking hand that you can have in poker? No in poker? pair or high card. No pair or high card. And uh, if I'm going to play a high card, I'm going to play an ace. Now, let's assume for a second that you're playing high card. What is the next highest ranking hand? A pair. A pair. I think there's a pair of fives right about here. So let's assume that we're playing poker and you're playing a pair of fives. If you're playing one pair, I'm going to play two pair. two pair. And if I'm not mistaken, there should be a pair of fours right about here. No. And there should be a pair of sixes 
right about here. You're starting to see the pattern, right? Now, the next highest ranking hand is uh, three of a kind. But John, what are the odds of getting three of a kind? Three of a kind is one in 50. One in 50. I mean, honestly, who has time for odds like one in 50? <laughs> Now the secret to this is knowing where all this stuff is before I cut to it. And do you remember when I spread the cards across the table to make sure that the deck was mixed? You know what I was really doing? I was finding hands like three of a kind and two pair and a pair. Because hands like those will occur naturally even in a shuffled deck. But um, the next highest ranking hand is straight. a straight. A straight is say for example two, three, four, five, six in order. A straight is a little bit more difficult to find in a shuffled deck because really it's it's unlikely that you're going to find two through six in order in a shuffle deck. It's more likely you're going to find a straight in fragments. In other words, you might find a, a two and a five right about here. You might find a three and a six right about here, which means now I have to cut exactly 28 cards from the top of the deck to find that four. So you can see a straight is a, it's a lot more difficult to find. Now getting that in. straight to the top of the deck is really only half the work. If I want that straight, in my hand, I have to stack the deck. And that means that I'm going to cut that straight into the deck, but I'm still keeping track of it. I'm going to give the cards a couple shuffles, and I'm going to stack the deck for a three-handed game of draw poker. That way, when I deal, I should receive the straight. And, um, you know, the player at the first position didn't get much of anything of any value. I think he got a pair of eights and a jack high, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> player at the second position didn't get much of anything. I don't even think he got a pair. But you can see that I ended up getting this. That's the straight. <laughs> you know, if you're one card off with this, you can end up giving your opponent a really strong hand. I can't believe I gave him the straight. John, what is the next highest ranking hand that beats a straight? Flush. A flush. And that's the one where all the cards are the same suit, right? <laughs> I even gave myself the ace high flush just in case anyone else was playing flush. And do you know what the odds are of getting a flush? One in 500. One in 500, you're right. And you know, some people make those odds more favorable by playing deuces wild, but really, I'm not going to waste your time cutting to deuce. I mean, really, deuce, playing deuces wild is for amateurs. <laughs> now, on that last hand, I dealt my opponent a strong hand on purpose. Why would I deal my opponent a strong hand? I did that on purpose because as long as I deal myself a hand that's slightly stronger, it not only guarantees that I'm going to win the hand, it guarantees I'm going to win the most money. So for this next hand, that's exactly what I did. I just stacked the deck so that the player at the first position will receive the next highest ranking hand, which is after full house. a full house. Good, yes, exactly. Now, the first thing this player is going to do when he sees his kings full of queens, he's mm -hmm. going to reach for his wallet. But so will this player because he's playing the next highest ranking the hand, four of a trick. kind, four sevens with an ace high kicker. This player will certainly have all his money on the table because he's playing a straight flush eight through queen of hearts. But don't worry, I'll have all my money on the table too because I saved the best for last. A royal flush in spades. <laughs> <laughs> Checks nicht. Hier gibt es ein Video, das habe ich mir auch schon angeguckt. Ähm, What da, er is up? da erklärt er sogar einen Trick. Baker, you pho Photoshop that one thing of you editing, uh, or sorry, of you, of you pulling out the ace. It wasn't really the ace. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so we can do, um, I think, uh, obviously one-handed cut and all that is fine. That That's actually a little bit more of a complicated thing. Even the bottom. Okay, right about there. Stop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jack. Uh, it's a method known as cheating. Uh, so let's talk okay. about it. <laughs> we'll use, uh, to make this easy to follow, uh, we use, uh, for example, a red blackjack, all right? Now, yep. have you heard of the term tracking playing cards before? 
tracking uh yeah like tracking counting cards kind of thing Yeah, tracking means I can just keep track of the cards while they're shuffled, right? Also, er behauptet von sich, er kann Karten tracken, obwohl er sie mischt. Also er behauptet, er weiß immer, wo welche Karte ist, an welcher Position, egal wie er mischt. So I'll give you a demonstration of how that's possible. And uh, what we're going to do is lose this blackjack into the deck wherever you want. So as I run down the cards like this, just say stop whenever you want. Stop. Okay, right about there. Stop. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then how about this one? We'll go a little bit further, the other part of the blackjack, wherever you want. Stop. Right there. So that's where you want. That's where they start. Okay. So this blackjack starts at this position. We'll lose it back into the deck where you determined. Now it's my job to keep track of where those cards are during the shuffles. It's pretty simple, actually. If you can do some basic math, you can do it. So after this shuffle, of course, well, now they're 21 and 38. Hä? Er sagt, das ist doch schon unmöglich eigentlich so an der Stelle. We'll er schiebt die rein. So, jetzt kann er doch schon nicht mehr genau sagen, an welcher Position sie sind. That were you determined. Now it's my job to keep track of where those cards are during the shuffles. It's pretty simple actually. So, und jetzt mischt er, also jetzt schon beim Auseinanderziehen. You can do some basic math, you can do it. Jetzt mischt er die so Karten, this shuffle, of course, schiebt sie wieder zusammen und behauptet, er weiß exakt genau er weiß, an welcher Position. Ich glaube, das ist die, nur die letzte Voraussagung wird natürlich stimmen. Ich glaube, das, was er jetzt sagt, sind irgendwelche random num Numbers. This shuffle, 16 and 35, if I did my math correct. Of course, I can always give the cards a cut. 27, 35, let's see, 18 and, 18 and 12. Sorry, I had to carry the one. Now, of course, you can also <laughs> shuffle the cards like this. Uh, you can also shuffle the cards. Uh, this is an in-the-hand shuffle, they call it. You can also shuffle the cards using an overhand shuffle like this. And of course, it doesn't really change the math, really. Now it's at 12 and 41. Of course, if I shuffle a second time, I just have to recalibrate the new positions of the cards. Uh, so this would be 13 and 31. Now, of course, after the cards are shuffled, you always have to give them a cut. And you can cut the cards as many times as you want. But it's not going to change anything uh, because you can just keep track of the new cards. Um, Let's see, uh, once you know how to track cards, you can also control cards. You can also control cards, meaning that I can bring them to known positions. Uh, and for this session, I think it would be pretty easy if we just brought it right back to the top of the deck. Jesus. Sick man. Okay, jetzt habe ich keinen Bock mehr. Auf gar nichts. Das ist doch nicht. Der klettert doch gleich aus meinem Monitor raus, ey. Jesus. Okay, ich glaube, er erklärt diesen Trick sogar noch. Wir gucken mal weiter. It's basic math. This is basic stuff. Mal gucken, ob er den erklärt. Right, yeah, no, this was like, I think maybe third grade or fourth grade level. Yeah, yeah, I learned this when I was about five. All right, here we go. <laughs> so this is a basic uh, tracking trick. So this is what we call a pseudo demonstration. I'm not really tracking these cards. I can have demonstrated tracking uh, plenty of times. Uh, we can even do it in this uh, in this interview later. But what this is pseudo tracking, so I'm pretending to keep track of these cards and control yeah. them. Yet you were fooled because how the hell did I keep track of these cards through all that shuffling? So this is probably the oldest trick in the book. The cards that I actually lost were the pseudomates of these cards. Nein, uh, das ist ja geil. Es war überhaupt nicht Karo Ass und Herz Ass. Which of course would be the Ace of Hearts and the Jack. What? Wir gucken noch mal am Anfang. So I wouldn't even. So usually the. Now, yeah. have you heard of the term? <laughs> We'll use, uh, to make this easy to follow, Herz, Ass, uh, we'll use, uh, for example, a red... Karo, Bube. Herz, Ass, Karo, Bube. Karo, Ass, Herz, Bube. Ach, du meine Fresse. Von euch hat's auch keiner gemerkt. 
Aber das erklärt trotzdem nicht, Moment, das erklärt doch noch nicht alles. Uh, tracking trick. So this is what we call a pseudo demonstration. I'm not really tracking these cars. I can. I've demonstrated tracking uh, plenty of times. Uh, we can even do it in this uh, in this interview later. But what this is pseudo tracking. So I'm pretending to keep track of these cars and control yeah. them. Yet you were fooled because how the hell did I keep track of these cards through all that shuffling? So this is probably the oldest trick in the book. The cards that I actually lost were the pseudo mates of these cards, uh, which of course would be the Ace of Hearts and the Jack of Diamonds. So oh, it wasn't is, even the same fucking cards. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly, exactly. But I used a lot of mental uh, tricks there to, to throw you off. And I'll explain that as we go. Das ist interessant. Er hat am Anfang gesagt, du hattest den Red Black Jack. Und man hat sofort gesagt, ja, Red Black Jack, rotes Ass, roter Bube. Aber wir haben natürlich, und es ging auch sehr schnell, man hat natürlich nicht drauf geachtet, was für ein Ass und was für ein Bube. Und ehrlich gesagt, ehrlich gesagt, hat er es auch so suggestiv dargestellt, dass ich mir in dem Moment gar nicht bewusst war, dass es ja noch zwei rote, also dass es noch ein rotes Ass und noch einen roten Buben gibt. Es war so, ja klar, rotes Ass, roter Bube, alles klar. So, to do this trick, it's very simple. This starts on top of the deck and these cards start in the middle of the deck somewhere. And I would say to you, would you like to be, would, I, would you like to learn about uh, shuffle tracking? It's very interesting. So let's use uh, two cards. Uh, we'll use a blackjack. And you remove these two cards, but I place them face down. Now, I don't want to give any extra attention to these cards. So they go down on the table face down. But have you ever been in a business meeting where you meet like 12 new people and they all introduce their names and 30 seconds later, you don't know anybody's name? You know what I'm talking about. Story of my life. Yes. Your brain realizes this is too much information for me. So it just, it just dissolves instantly. And that's what I'm yeah. taking advantage of here. Why would your brain work harder? It's not. So the moment that I say, let's use a red blackjack, you don't care anymore that it was the Jack of Hearts and the Ace of Diamonds. You just tune out and say, oh yeah, red blackjack, that's easier. So I'm taking advantage of how your brain works. And also yeah. I don't want to give extra time to it because that's the second part of it. Why give them, why make it easier for them? So I say, let's use a red blackjack and I throw it on the table like this. Now, everything else is a red herring, really. I mean, watch this. I spread these cards out. Remember, the pseudo mates are already up here. And I say, now, where exactly do you want this one to go? Say stop. Of course, it doesn't make a difference when they say stop. <laughs> that looks like about 14 cards from the top. And then we do this one, and I spread down, and I say, let's use the other card of the blackjack. And this goes down maybe another 13 cards. Now, this little touch, this card, the lower card, goes in a little further. See how this is sticking out? Yeah. This is in a little bit further, which means when I close this up, I can show you one more look at it. And guess what you see? Both cards for just a second. But the trick's done already. It's already on top. So now when nice. I shuffle the cards, I make all this up. I say, well, now it's 21 and 38. Okay. Nice. And now it's uh, 14, and, uh, oh, 14 and 32. That's right. Now, are you thinking, nah, he's probably going to switch those for pseudo mates. Or are you thinking, there's no way he knows this. Clearly, <laughs> I'm manipulating your thought. I am controlling your thoughts. By acting so confident and uh, yelling out these numbers, I'm right. controlling what you're thinking about. So anyway, uh, these get all mixed up. And now you can just see that those are staying on top. And then, of course, when I shuffle cards like this, it doesn't make a difference. They're just staying on top. Watch this one. When I shuffle this way, all I'm going to do is take two cards. See those two? Mm -hmm. And I continue to shuffle. So where are they now? They're right on the bottom of the deck. Okay. And then when I shuffle again, guess what falls last? Two cards. They just went to the bottom and then they went to the top. Right? Yeah. So that's just a real basic control. Das muss ich ausprobieren. Das muss ich ausprobieren. Okay. Pik König. Und Peak 3 sind oben. Peak König, Peak 3 sind unten. Aber wie kriege ich die jetzt wieder nach oben? Hä? Jetzt. Was 
Okay, einfach nur. And then when I cut the cards a million times, they're right here. So I know that they're still in my right hand. And see how this is right here in front of me? Well, when yeah. I pick them all up, I only have to keep track of that one pile. And when I say I'm going to control them, how much time has happened between when I first showed you that black jacket now? A lot. 45 like seconds, a minute. Minute, <laughs> yeah. minute and a half. You're really going to yeah. go back and remember that? No, you're not. So you see red black jacket and you say, how the hell did he keep track of those cards? And cut to them and control them effortlessly. Aber well, woher wusste der denn? Wrong cards. So that's it. I'm, Moment, I mean, you ich muss mal den Trick von Anfang an sehen. Deal is something that you can do. Uh, that if you're just listening, definitely is true. Uh, I don't in casinos, but I know, you know, I've played with friends. Oh, you know what a good blackjack hand is, right? I'll give you a demonstration of how to gain sure. an edge in, in blackjack. Uh, it's a method known as cheating. Uh, so let's talk okay. about it. <laughs> we'll use, uh, to make this easy to follow, also, er uh, entscheidet we'll use, welche uh, for example, a red blackjack, right? A red blackjack. Now, yeah. have you heard of the term? Okay, das heißt, er hat zu dem Zeitpunkt hat er ja das Deck schon präpariert, ja? Das heißt, hier oben drauf sind jetzt schon uh, die, die, die it, anderen know, beiden roten. Oh, you know what a good blackjack hand is, right? I'll give you a demonstration of how to gain sure. an edge in, in blackjack. Uh, it's a method known as cheating. Uh, so let's talk okay. about it. We'll use, uh, to make this easy to follow, Uh, we use, uh, for example, a red blackjack, all right? Now, yeah. have you heard of this? So, jetzt sind da schon oben die, die gefakten. Tracking playing cards before? So, sie bleiben tracking, oben. Tracking, uh, yeah, like tracking counting cards kind of thing. Yeah, tracking means I can just keep tracking. Die sind the die cards ganze Zeit oben. Shuffled, right? So, I'll give you a demonstration of how that's possible. And so. uh, what we're going to do is lose this blackjack. Hier oben sind die anderen beiden roten. So, as I run down the cards like this, just say stop whenever you want. Aber was ist, wenn er hier Stopp sagt schon? Es gibt ja immer solche, die dann beim Sagen direkt schon. Dann hast du ein Problem, Stop. oder? Okay, right about there. Stop. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then how about this one? We'll go a little bit further, the other part of the blackjack, wherever you want. Stop. Right there. So that's where you want. That's where they start. Okay. So this blackjack starts at this position. We'll lose it back into the deck where you determine. Now okay, it's my job immer noch to keep track of where those cards oben. are during the shuffles. It's pretty simple, actually. You can do some basic math, you can do it. So after this shuffle, of course, well, now they're 21 and 38. Uh, so but after this shuffle, 16 and, uh, 35, if I did my math correct. Of course, I can always give the cards a cut, 27, 35. Okay, whoa, das finde ich schon wieder, okay, weil der halt den... 35, if I did my math correct. Of course, of course I can, so, I can always give, give the cards a cut. Da nimmt er von unten, aber jetzt sind sie doch nicht mehr oben. Den Cut, wie macht er das denn jetzt? Job to keep track of where those cards are during the shuffles. It's pretty simple actually. You can do some basic math, you can do it. So after this shuffle, of course, Well, now they're 21 and 38. Uh, but after this shuffle, 16 and uh, 35, if I did my math correct. Of course, I can always... Okay, ich mache das mal auf langsamere Geschwindigkeit. Give the cards a cut. 27, 35. Well, let's see. Ich, check, ich check's auch in Zeitlupe nicht. Of course, I can always give the card. So. Hier sind jetzt die Fakes. Und er macht doch den ganzen Stapel, macht er doch da drauf. Ich bin doch nicht bescheuert. So. Er muss irgendwie den so festhalten, dass er genau den gleichen Stapel wieder zurücknimmt. Okay, 
Okay, selbst wenn er den Cut markiert mit dem Daumen, ist es doch ultra gut gemacht. 18 and two, that's right. Now, are you thinking, nah, he's probably gonna switch those for pseudo mates. Or are you thinking, there's no way he knows this. It doesn't make a difference when they say stop. <laughs> Use the other. Now, this little touch, this card, the lower card, a little bit further, both cards for just a second. But the trick's done already. It's already on top. So now when nice. I shuffle the cards, I make all this up. I say, well, now it's 21 and 38. Okay. <laughs> and now it's uh, 14 and uh, oh, 14 and 32. That's right. Now, are you thinking, nah, he's probably going to switch those for pseudo mates. Or are you thinking there's no way he knows this? <laughs> Clearly <laughs> I'm manipulating your thought. I am controlling your thoughts by acting so confident and that, uh, yelling out these numbers. I'm right. controlling what you're thinking about. So anyway, uh, these get all mixed up and now you can just see that those are staying on top. And then of course, when I shuffle cards like this, it doesn't make a difference. They're just staying on top. Watch this one. When I shuffle this way, all I'm going to do is take two cards. Yeah, that's two. how much I'm going to check. Then when I shuffle again, guess what falls last? Two cards. They just went to the bottom and then they went to the top. Nicht den cut right? trick. So that's just real basic control. And then when I cut the cards a million Doch. times, they're right here. Nee. So das ist ein anderer Cut. Right yeah. Er zeigt nicht den Cut-Trick. Totally. Als ich eine And they're asking like how to fight and win. And it's like, no, 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 you win. <laughs> You're not the right person to go start with that. That's your, the, that, that the problem was the initial interaction. So sometimes a student doesn't know that and they bring in material that things that I had just mentioned and then picked up giving the audience a better chance to figure out how it works. Impressive. Okay. I like that. That was a, you know, uh, the simple trick like that. Yeah. Let's see if you've, if you've got more off the dome. All right, so let's talk about another really basic uh, card trick, a beginner card trick. You had mentioned tricks that anybody can do right away. Uh, so let's talk about this one. Uh, have you heard the line, pick a card before? Yep. That's what we're going to do, a real basic pick a card trick, okay? So uh, before we start, uh, we'll give the cards a couple shuffles, a couple cuts, and watch this. Uh, I'll, since you're not here, obviously you can't pick a card, but I'll, I'll run my finger like this. You just say stop whenever you want. Stop. Right here? Uh, are you okay with this one or you want one more, one less? It's up to you. Let's keep the one. Okay. Uh, so the seven of diamonds, that's your card. Now in a live performance, obviously I wouldn't know what that card is, uh, but the seven of diamonds, that's the card. So the spectator would pick that card and then we'll cut it back into the deck. And again, if you were here, you could give the cards a cut, but you're not here. So you can tell me where do you want to cut? You know, the top, middle, or bottom? You're like uh, top. So closer to the top. See how that's only a small closer to chunk. the top. Yeah, like a small yeah, right. chunk. To See the how top. That's, yeah, it's just just to show you that I, I'm giving you the control that since you're not here. You can okay, jetzt hat er sich natürlich auf jeden Fall hier die Bodenkarte angeguckt und weiß, dass die richtige Karte unter Yeah, it's just just to show you that I, I'm giving you the control that since you're not here, you can cut where you totally. want. Totally. As a matter of fact, you might not trust me. So you want to cut these cards again? Let's do one more and around the half. Yeah, just a blatant. Proof that you don't trust me one bit. <laughs> Now, where, where would you like me to cut? Closer to the top, middle, or bottom? Let's do around the half. Right around half. So you can see that's exactly uh, halfway down. And it was. Yeah. We'll do the math later. I'll, remind me to do that before we leave. Uh, we'll okay. do some uh, demos for you. Now, again, if we were in a big group of people, we would just have multiple people uh, do that. I would say, in case you don't trust me, you might not trust this guy. So why don't you cut the cards? And what ends up happening is, We just give these cards a cut because I demonstrated tracking a moment ago. So you might think that I could keep track of those cards. But when we cut the cards like this, there's no way anybody could keep track of these cards when they're cut this many times. And you may think that I'm faking these cuts in some way. Look, top card changes. We know it's real. As a matter of fact, I'll give the cards a cut when they're face up. How many times? Do you want me to cut the cards again or just finish here? I mean, I think none of this really matters, but no, it yeah. really does. It really does because every time we cut, there's a new card. So it's up to you now. Do you want me to cut again? I'm satisfied with the amount of cuts. Okay. Got. Remember, if you wanted me to cut again, it would have been a completely different card. If totally. I cut in a whole different place, it would have been a ten, or it could have been a queen. It could have been an ace. But you said stop here. Okay. 
Yeah. Now, how, we cut the cards 15 times, 20 times, 30 times even. And we ended up Easily. at a three. All right. Now, do you remember your card? Seven of diamonds. Yeah, watch this. So that's one. That's two. That's three. <laughs> and Dude. this is the easy stuff. <laughs> this is, this is the easy stuff. Ja gut, das ist das Das ist irgendein Rechending. Schaltet wieder ein. Beim nächsten Mal, wenn es wieder heißt, Eddie erklärt Kartentricks. Das ist so ein Rechending. Wollen wir die Auflösung angucken? There's, there's nothing to it. All right. So, let's talk about how to do this trick. At the very beginning, we had a real simple setup at the face of the deck. And this is it. And believe it or not, I, while we were talking... What the fuck? I was When did you do that? Wann hat er das denn jetzt gemacht? Exactly. Wann hat er die denn so sortiert? Easy stuff. There's, there's nothing to it. All right. Ah, da macht so, das quasi. let's talk about how to do this trick. Okay. At go. the very beginning, we had a real simple setup at the face of the deck. And this is it. And believe it or not, I, while we were talking... What the fuck? I was When able, did you do that? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. It took a second to do it, right? So here we go. Ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is the setup, and that goes at the face of the deck. So this is the face of the deck. This is the top of the deck, okay? Now, yeah. when I shuffle the cards, here's a real basic control that you uh, would learn on a first lesson. It looks like I'm shuffling these cards, and I really am. But guess what? The ace through ten isn't going anywhere, right? It's not magic. All I'm doing is dropping those cards first when I shuffle. But from the top, it's very difficult to see that. It just looks like yeah. the cards. Are uh, so <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, yeah. that's how you're fooled. You know that the that trick starting off with gesagt. a truly so shuffled deck of cards, but that is not the case at all. You can see that 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Aces at the top. So now wow. here's how the trick works. I spread the cards out on the table like this, and I say, in a mm -hmm. moment, I'm going to have you say stop. Now, you may not suspect that you were manipulated there, but you already were. Yeah, because, because you didn't allow I, me to do the beginning. <laughs> Because I didn't say, say stop whenever you want and come down here. Because what if you said stop here? Yeah, you're So fine. do you see how subtle these manipulations are? And I'm controlling yeah. every aspect. So when you say, well, what if you screw up? I'm not going to screw up because I've thought about this already and make sure that I say, now listen to the timing. Listen how brilliant this is. So I'll go like this. And when you want, just say stop. Get out. Let's go. <laughs> so you don't have to. That's right. I'm not going to interrupt you. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. So these are all just psychological methods. Uh, so also a great analogy for what I do mentally is very similar to con artists and things like that. Um, yeah. Scam artists, because they will convince you to give away all your money. And I'm doing a lot of the same things, but I'm not going to. Well, I'm going to take some of your money, but not all of it. But right. <laughs> I'm using that same mentality to fool you with basic card tricks. So anyway, that's a free selection. And the trick is so simple. It's so, so simple. This card here goes on top of the deck. And if you were here, you really would cut the cards. And this is a trick you would do like at a pool table with a bunch of friends, right? You got 15 people out at a dinner table. And you would say, go right down the dinner table and say, all right, Mary, you cut the cards. All right. Okay. Frank, you cut the cards. Bill, you cut the cards. And this is all real. And you're fooled by this because these are real genuine cuts and there is no manipulation here. You can even Wait, show Wait, Jason, the isn't the one through 10 getting fucked up when you do that? No, no, no. You'll see in a second. When I cut the cards, ace through 10 is still in sequence. It's just in a different place. So ace through 10 is now up here, then it's down here, then it's over here, then it's up here, but it'll never change. So let me cut right into the middle of it. Even though I've cut into the middle of it, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3... To Ace. You see how it's it's getting split, but it's not getting messed up. It's Aber wenn es jetzt noch mal oh, yeah. So the cards are cut, and then now watch this manipulation. I say, look, you can clearly see the cards are being cut. There's a four on top of the deck, and when I cut, now it's uh, a nine. So clearly it's, you know, as a matter of fact, why don't we do it with the cards face up? So this feels like I'm helping you by understanding <laughs> I'll do it with the cards face up. But actually, and when, when I'm trying to help you, it's actually hurting you. So, because now, now I can see the cards. 
So this is <laughs> apparently proof that the cuts are real. And now what's going to happen when multiple people cut, what's eventually going to happen? You're going to get a heart. You're going to get a heart. And this is when you stop. Now, do you remember when I said, you want to keep going? And I, I said, so, we yeah. can stop here. It's or all a haze here. now. <laughs> it doesn't matter because if you wanted to keep going, I just would have cut until I hit a heart again. So you've never seen the trick before, so you don't know how it goes. So yeah. when I say, you uh, stopped me at the six, but you could have stopped me someplace else. And I'll lift up and prove a different value. If you had said a different, uh, if you wanted me to cut, we would have got a queen. Or perhaps we would have got a different queen or an eight or a three. All these different numbers. But this is where you wanted to stop. So doesn't that feel like that's your choice? hundred percent. It does. We take that six out like this, and I say, watch this. Now, the cut never screwed anything up. So guess what happens when I count down six cards? One, two, three, four, five. In our original card, seven of spades, it will always be at the sixth position. So it will be that way. If you cut to the five of hearts, it'll be at the fifth position. If you cut to the ace, it'll be the top card. If you cut to the ten, it'll be the tenth card. It, it's just a basic math trick. So uh, that's an example of what we call self-working card tricks. Now, the little shuffle that I added in the beginning where I retain the cards. Okay, das werde ich morgen ausprobieren. Das sieht so einfach aus. Ich raff immer noch nicht, dass durch diese, durch das Cutten, also durch das Abheben, wenn du 15 Mal abhebst, dass die Reihenfolge der Herzen nicht äh, Karten mischt ja nicht. Die Karten bleiben ja in derselben Reihenfolge. Ja, wenn du nur einmal cuttest. Aber wenn du 15 Mal cuttest, dann cuttest du ja auch in die Kette. Und wenn du dann noch mal cuttest und in die Kette cuttest Ja, er hat's gezeigt. Es, es macht ja auch Sinn. Ich muss es nur das leuchtet mir einfach immer noch nicht so ein bisschen ein. Aber ich mag auch diese psychologischen Manipulationen, dass er die Frage so stellt, dass du am Anfang gar nicht tippst. Mhm. 